we're just about to head out. The wind's changed direction today, see how that affects the fishing. Now coming from a northwest, should improve the fishing really. The east are always a bit, as they say, when the wind's in the east, the fishing is least. When the wind's in the west, fishing's at its best. There you go, right. Let's find that out and see if that theory holds up. Right, so we're going to pull the bay pots first before we go out because, I don't know, it's a bit mucky out there at the moment. It'll get muckier the further out we go. We'll see what the tide does. As it drops, you get that full speed thing and I can see how bad it is before we're actually out there, innit? Since we're dealing with the uh, velvet swimmers, they do like to have a pitch of the old beans. Nope, it's not in the right spot. Velvet swimmers. Yeah, very angry looking. Although he's quite sedate, that one. Oh, I've got him in the Stunned. I've got him in the Troy lock. <laughs> the Troy special lock. Can't move, can you not? The Can't Vulcan move. grip. The Vulcan grip, yeah. <laughs> no, this one this one's angry, even angrier, look. They are so angry these crabs. Yesterday I found this lump on the sea bed, just like a lump. It's kind of weird, it doesn't look like much like a rock, but I thought, well, we'll try and see if there's any middle of it. It's in the middle of nowhere, basically, in the middle of sand. So. Hope it's not a snag.
Shows that one little thing in the middle of the sand, yep. and there he is. What we hope for. And that's less than 24 hours because we put this down yesterday afternoon, it's early morning now, so that's pretty good going. Yeah, I'm happy about that. That worked out just right. You can't expect too much though on these little one off reefs the size of a car, <laughs> but it just shows they do hold lobsters. Yeah, that's well. Right, I'm going to put it back there. I mean, I don't know if I'll get another one there, but we'll give it a go. There might be a big mail or something there. I'll leave it. This one's got conger in it anyway. Right, might be a bit tricky. I saw the lobster, I thought, if he kicks at the right angle, he'll go straight out the neck. Yeah, that old crustacean. Look at it. She. Oh. No eggs? No, no eggs. Good, no. good, good, good. That's a beauty, that one. Let's have, let's have a closer inspection. Hey, look at the barnacles on it. It's got an old shell. That'd be perfect, that one. Older the shell, the better. Oof. Yeah. That pot does it again. The ink wells actually do quite well for a big lobster. Have you noticed that? Yep. That's a big Alright, stay with that bait. That is the pole there. You know what bait you right? Yeah, screw it. Just chuck it here. It's on the flat. It don't matter. If that's more there, then they'll obviously wandering around on this area. It's probably mixed ground anyway. Belters in this pot. Look at that one that came out the pot. What an absolute beauty that is. Brilliant. Right, we take her out the back. This one. There. There you go. Look at that. Whoom. And there's another one in there, and I think it might be size. Yeah, that be that size. It's got a small claw, but that's a male with a small claw. Again, coming across other lobsters all the time. We get so many now with little claws or broken claws. Oh, gee, that one claw will make up for it, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a shame that we get so many like that these days. Oh, so that's because there's so many lobsters. Right, we put this pot in one of my little old favourite spots where quite often you get lobsters. So I'm hoping. But it'll probably be the, next, the maybe the first pot, but probably the second pot. Let's go, go in for the pot can. Just 
hold up. Yeah. <laughs> There's one. Let's see if the second pot can do as good. Yes. <laughs> you might. I don't know. You might be size that one. Right. I've got to put that down, and I've got to move. We'll be on dry land. One, but it cool. Okay. So, this is our ancient pot coming up, it's like an antique, this thing. It's done really well over the time. So. Had a bit of everything then, I think, as well. Bait? What's the bait like? Let's show the folks at home what we've got in this pot. Have a, have a look at that giant crab. Two giant crabs. Two giant crabs. There is a lobster here. Yeah. Little one. A bit squished. And just a load of small crabs, but that's a couple of busters in there. Yeah. Put the kettle on, everybody. <laughs> yeah. It might <laughs> be here for some time. Now that neck, you, that trap, you've got to hold up. Have they, have they closed it? It's well, it looks. Oh, he's got his leg wrapped up. Him, yeah, you're so gonna have to. I'll let you do that. Let me hold the camera. How did he manage that? Well, he's gone in and twisted, and that just makes it really difficult now because, especially if he tries to grab me. That's the trouble with spiders, they do things like this. Keep an eye out where we are. There we go, I've got it. He pulls his leg out like that, and we're in. We're in. Gotta put some gloves on, they are very spiny. I have to spin the pot as well. Right! He's got his claws through the neck. I know. Just pull your claw back, mate. That's all you need to do. There he goes. It's not really the pot for this sort of thing. It's a pot for lobster, not for giant spider crabs, but it's certainly catching them. There's one. Spider crabs this yeah. year. 
Lobster. And the lobster. And the lobster. And the lobster. Feeling lobster. relieved he is now. Yeah. One little lobster. That's a beaut. It is, yeah. That's a big male. That's a nice one. I'll show you, that's yeah. really heavy, that one. Yeah. Heavy old male there. It's uh, superb. Watch your fingers. He's ready for a flipping a nipping session. <laughs> right. Good end. Show you what we pulled up careful now because I don't want it scratching the boat. Just leave it a minute, just leave it hanging. I'm hanging, I'm pulling it away from the side of the so boat. So, there's we pulled up this old frame that's been obviously dumped down here at some point. I have to try and get it. Um, can you come over this way a minute? Well, we freed it. We freed it, but um, I had to cut the rope to be able to feed it through. It's an old iron grill. 
we've towed it out the way so it doesn't get hitched again but I think it's some old cages from oyster or orma farms things that have ended up there been chopped there or just got washed up there I don't know but all I know is it's out the way now we actually lost our other store pot it wasn't that didn't have anything in it last year got into one of those you could see it might be the same one it might have broken apart now that is it another day done calmed down quite nice a lot of hard work pulling up steel old rusting steel but uh, we got it clear so that was the main thing i'm so pleased that we got our crab got back oh the crabs yeah we're in a disaster right we're going to make our way in before the tide gets just a bit too far it's already quite a way down